Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel, and we're going to have some fighting words. So I want to talk about some beef that is cooking up. Well, cooking up again. Uh, we have Jamel Charlo versus, well, verbally right now, versus Jared Swift Her. Uh, it's starting up again. It was cooking in 2018 and 2019, simmered down 2020 because well, Heard lost his, uh, his title, but it's cooking back up again, it, it just back and forth. Heard is basically saying, hey, you know, you, you do all this tough talk. I've seen you a few times, nothing happened. Let's just make this fight happen. Let's just get it out of our, out of our system. Apparently, you know, you have something towards me. You feel a certain way towards me. I don't really know why Jamel feels, he's, feels the way he feels. He kind of went on a rant and he mentioned Jared Heard. And Jared Heard basically responded to him uh, on Twitter and on Instagram. So I kind of have to agree with Jared Heard when I say I don't know why Charlo feels the way he feels. Only in the sense that Charlo has the belts. <laughs> Jared Heard doesn't have the belt. Charlo has the, the belt that Jared Heard once had. I don't understand why he still, you know, feels the way he feels about um, it could just be something personal it could be i don't know maybe his hairstyle or something but he definitely still has some bad blood towards jared Hurd. and jared says like, hey let's just fight we're in the this is our profession we're actually in the business where if we don't like our co-workers we don't like the people on the line of, of uh the business that we're in we can punch them in the face let's just fight and honestly, I gotta tell you, I wanna see this fight so bad. I want to see this fight in 2018. I've been wanting to see this fight for the longest. This will be a good fight. I don't care at what stage. I mean, hopefully they don't wait too long to do it, but in no way, shape or form is this fight ever gonna be a boring fight when it happens. It's action packed all the way. We already know what Jared Hurd is about. He's about throwing a thousand punches and Standing right in front of you, he's going to be there the entire time. We already know what uh, Charlo's about. He's a headhunter. He likes knockouts. He wants to knock you out. He doesn't want to leave it up to a judge. Neither one of these guys want to leave it up to a judge. So I am excited. I am happy for even the level of competition. Like you, at this stage, you could be looking at somebody else, maybe somebody less talented or less of a threat, meaning Charlo. And yet he's still looking at Jared Hurd, you know, a guy who, who actually held on to the belt. You know, he had the belt for some time. And of all people, Charlo is also a matchmaker because he's looking at an individual who has a type of style that would complement his style. Their, their styles match up so beautifully. He has a headhunting style. He has a beat you up and wear you down style. That's just action packed. That has action literally written all over it. I don't foresee that going the distance. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't see that fight going the distance. Um, Jared Hurd can take a lot of punishment. He can get hit and just keep on coming. However, Jared Hurd is was typically bigger than everybody he was fighting. So I think the size thing won't be an issue anymore and we can see how he fares against somebody his own size. Uh, that would be interesting to be honest with you. But I gotta tell you, I I'm excited about it. I mean, I'm kind of leaning more toward Charlo only because of um, head movement. Um, Charlo doesn't, well, neither one of them backed up, so that's not even what I'm talking about. Um, I, I got to lean more towards Charlo. I got to be honest with you. Charlo, both of the Charlo brothers have beautiful jabs. Um, so they know how to set up a shot. Um, I, the only thing I would worry about is Jared Hurd's consistency. I mean, he can throw a lot of punches every round. And it seems as if he doesn't get tired. And if he gets you hurt or dazed, or he cracks you with a good one. He can follow that up with like 20 other punches. He just has that kind of energy where he can keep going and going. Uh, Charlo, on the other hand, if he hurts you, it's 
pretty much lights out. He doesn't play around. He likes knockouts. He's always talking about knockouts. He only wants knockouts. Um, after the whole fiasco with him losing his belt, he doesn't ever want to feel that pain again, especially when he feels that it's hard that he won that fight. But he just never wants to feel that pain of being the loser in a contest ever again. So I feel like since he got his belt back, he's just been on fire. He's just had this this rage almost when he's in the ring. Like, you know, I, I don't need a ref, I don't need judges because they will not be needed tonight. I'm going to finish my opponents. And that's like, I mean, that was his mindset before losing his belt, but it's definitely been his mindset after losing the belt. And then you have Jerry Hurd who lost to J-Rock and he was not expecting to lose to J-Rock. J-Rock is small, J-Rock is a lot smaller than him. Um, I, th I just think he underestimated his, la his last loss. But I do not think that Jared Hurd would uh, take one day off of training if he knows he's going up against Jamel Charles. I think he would work extra hard. I think he'd run an extra mile. I don't have to say these things about Charles because even in, on his off time, he's constantly running, constantly cycling, constantly in the gym. So I don't have to say these things about Charles. Jared Hurd, on the other hand, I do have to say these things about. Um, I think it would play just a major key in what he's doing outside of the of the ring. And I think for Charlo, that is the right contest. I think that is the right type of uh, beef cooking up that would get him out of bed in the morning, that would make him want to hit the heavy bag and make him want to run those miles, make him want to uh, skip that rope. I, I just think that's everything... Charles, everything Heard needs to get back on track, get back to that Jared Swift Heard that we all love and remember prior to the uh, prior to his loss. Um, but I don't know. You guys, tell me what you think. And as always, please like and subscribe.